Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about uh, heroes in general for the Call of Dragons, which is one of the most important aspects of the game. We will speak about the best investments for a free-to-play and also pay-to-win players, so let's dive in, right? Uh, I will mention every single legion type as always whenever I'm speaking about heroes it's important to understand that I'm a marksman main but I have already enough experience to speak about almost every single hero in the game. First of all I will start about mages because mages has been one of the most popular and most used uh, unit type in the game. And for the mages, the best investment uh, for the mage players, I still think, especially for pay to win player, is uh, Lilia. Of course, uh, after the addition of the Bertrand and Tohar, like people thought that Bertrand and Tohar would change the mage uh, investment guide, but still, uh, regardless of uh, you are pay to win player or low spender, especially for pay to win players, Lilia is still the number one choice. Simply because Lilia is dealing a huge huge amount of damage and the uh, synergy about this scorch which Lilia is getting is amazing right especially if you are fighting against a lot of legions during the war this scorch will deal a, like simply a, like tons of damage no not a single uh, hero in terms of mage heroes will deal more damage than Lilia of course, we need to mention that one skill of the Lilia is a peacekeeping uh, skill which does absolutely nothing uh, on the battlefield fighting against uh, uh, real players. But still, uh, with the Infernal Flames, which is which has a synergy uh, with the Scorch of the Lilia, still most uh, perfect and most damage dealer uh, legendary hero in terms of mages is Lilia. That's why my main advice would be for pay to win players to uh, invest uh, in Lilia and uh, Lilia is uh, great whenever she has awakened her skill. Uh, deals damage to two nearby legions with 15% chance to inflict Scorch. Deals damage every second for 5 seconds. So like 200 damage for 5 seconds, well you can calculate how much damage you are going to get, right? That's for the pay to win players. For the free to play players, of course, uh, we have a limited amount of heroes which we can use uh, as a free to play player. And still I think there is like two choices of for free to play players on which uh, legendary mage heroes they, they have to invest. Of course, my uh, first two would be Welling or Bertrand. That's the two heroes I would suggest to invest. Um, like for example, if I was a mage player, I would have invested in Welling because Welling can be used in almost every single mage legion. Uh, and in general, whenever you are a free-to-play player, you need to invest in a heroes which you can use in many different hero pairs, right? So Welling and Bertrand can be amazing uh, mage heroes where you can uh, invest your legendary tokens uh bertrand is better in terms of talents uh, skill talents is the best talent tree which a mage uh, hero can have in general and also uh bertrand it's a new hero but we can understand that bertrand can be used in like a lot of uh, hero pairs such as like bertrand and tohar bertrand and thea uh, Bertrand and Atheus, Bertrand and Welling, uh, Bertrand and Lilia also, right? So whenever you are a free-to-play player, you need to understand that investing in heroes uh, where which they have a lot of versatility in terms of hero pairs is a much, much better rather than just going to invest in a hero which has only one good hero pair. That's why I think for a free-to-play players, uh, Welling and Bertrand would be the best choice for them to invest those legendary tokens especially if you are a mage main now it's time for me to speak about infantry which been a revolutionary right after the season ti whenever new legendary heroes Goresh and skolgul came out uh, like we had like a couple of months having infantry meta in the server so i think infantry uh, players are in a better space after those uh, new heroes and in my opinion for pay to win players best investment uh, legendary hero for infantry is of course goresh uh, simply because goresh and skolgul is the best infantry hero pair in the game uh, like you they have a lot of defensive stats a lot of survivability a lot of damage a lot of counter 
attack damage uh, movement speed also like march speed is pretty high because of this call ghoul and in general like uh, there is they are in a different tier like i think uh, goresh and skull ghoul is s tier and madeline and nika is b tier like before Goresh and Skolgul, Medellin and Nika was the most preferable hero pair for the infantry, but they, like, this Goresh and Skolgul are that good that, like, doesn't really matter what else other heroes can do, right? For pay-to-win players, of course, I would uh, uh, advise to invest, uh, if you are infantry player, to invest in Goresh, especially Goresh has the great talents, like infantry and tank talents are the best talents which you can get on infantry heroes in general. Uh, and in general, like, uh, if you are pay-to-win player, that's the only time uh, if you have tier 5 units that you're gonna rally, uh, and you, like, rally talent can be useful too. You will never go wrong uh, with using Goresh, uh, that's how simply good he actually is but uh, in terms of free to play players it's kind of tricky like i have uh, two choices uh, uh, for a free to play players on which they have to invest in my opinion one is uh, skull ghoul uh, newest hero for infantry and second is madeline uh, depending on your choice madeline is kind of in in some terms better because madeline can be used in a different hero pairs such as like madeline nika uh, madeline go madeline garwood uh, and even madeline with skull ghoul right so you have uh, two options for a free to play players on which hero infantry heroes you can invest your tokens uh, and it would be like madeline or skull ghoul depending on your taste depending on your gameplay maybe you prefer skull ghoul uh, and you prefer less madeline but in my opinion madeline is still very useful and versatile in terms of free to play players uh, gameplay in this game uh, this is like infantry uh, investment advice from me and now let's speak about one of the weakest uh, legion type in the game which is cavalry uh, like in my opinion cavalry do need some more love in this game because they have to be a little bit more stronger in order to uh, for players to use them more frequently so for pay to win players i would say theodore is the best uh, investment hero for the uh, pay to win players uh, simply because like I understand not a lot of people have been using Theodore but Theodore is amazing dealing a lot of damage being tanky enough to survive a lot of skills from the mage players and also Theodore has something unique about its play kit uh, HP reduction 30% is a lot right like you are removing 30% of HP from your target which means your target is a lot weaker. Now, this skill damage factor will deal as, as, like especially a lot more damage whenever your uh, enemy has a 30% lower HP, right? I can understand the garrison uh, is not the uh, PvP uh, talent tree and the, like um, uh, Theodore has one skill which will not be used on the battlefield, but who cares, right? Like honestly, 30% defense reduction, uh, march speed defense bonus again for your yourself and if you will awaken theodore you are receiving 25 25 percent less normal attack damage so in my opinion the worst enemies for cavalry players are mages and marksmen right because whenever you are rushing in the battlefield there's a two legion type will be who will be targeting you and for uh, to be a counter to marksmen well marksman is mainly uh, normal attack damage you are taking 25 percent less normal attack damage also for mages you are reducting their hp up to 30 percent and that's just too much like theodore legions are dealing away too much damage in my opinion that's why i think for pay to win player theodore should be the must one to invest their legendary tokens or even money in terms of uh, free to play players of course i would have like a couple of choices first one is emrys uh simply because it will be much easier for you to awaken emrys because you will have uh emrys from the gold keys and also because emrys can be used in many different hero pairs such as emrys and bakshi uh, emrys and uh, four on deal even emrys and um, theodore can be totally fine right that's why i think for the free to play players two best uh, hero investments which can be uh, done is emrys and uh, four on deal right 
especially if you don't have Theodore because it's quite hard for free to play players to unlock uh, Theodore or Tohar or like Lilia and Hosk is almost impossible, right? So I think uh, Emerys and Forondil is two best uh, cavalry heroes which you can invest your legendary tokens as a free to play player. Like depending on your gameplay, of course, if you are a Spring Wardens player, you would be going for uh, Forondil because Forondil is flying hero and uh, uh, forest eagles are flying cavalry units. But if you are not, I would highly recommend to go for Emerys. Well, Bakshi can be a good uh, replacement but Bakshi has one peacekeeping damage skill uh, which is kind of bad in terms of PvP in this game so for M for cavalry uh, for free to play players Emrys and Forondil for pay to win players uh, Theodore uh, now let's speak about my favorite legend type in the game which is marksman uh, and in general i think for marksman players uh, long range warfare has been the one of the best changes in the game because i have been have, having a lot of fun in the game uh, let's speak about at first free to pay to win players in terms of marksman uh, players uh, i think for marksman pay to win players syndrion is the must one to have especially if you if you will awaken syndrion that's the best marksman uh, hero in, like right now in the game of course we already know that we are getting zaida and magrat in the next season but in this video i won't gonna speak much about them i will speak about heroes which we currently have in the game um like the obvious choice Syndrion will be the best choice to invest uh, for pay to win players in this game uh, you are you will be having the best marksman legion with uh, Syndrion and Fragar, normal attack lot of crits and in general I think Syndrion's awakening skill is amazing uh, like every time Syndrion legion uh, lands five critical hits from normal attacks they deal additional damage to the target 400 which is a uh, quite a lot right if we're gonna see that Syndrion and Fragar is dealing a lot more uh, critical uh, hits if you are just standing still and uh, dealing as much damage as possible so my advice would be that Syndrion is a first choice uh, for pay to win players uh, what's tricky uh, about free to play players is that we have a couple of choices which we can uh, of course invest our legendary tokens uh, for example myself i have invested all of my legendary tokens on kinara uh, because i thought like at first kinara would be like most versatile one uh, in terms of hero pairs and of course she is she is great with kinara and hosk uh, but hosk is for pay to win players so that's why i'm running uh, with nico and kinara uh, of course like as i said if you get lucky somehow just like me and you unlocked Syndrion like Syndrion would be the best choice even for free to play players but uh, like I have been playing this game from day one uh, the first marksman uh, hero which I fell in love was Kinara that's why I invested all of my legendary tokens on Kinara and honestly uh, my advice would be like if you like this type of uh, marksman hero which will be tanky uh, which will deal a lot of counter-attack damage and mainly like skill damage factor type of marksman then Kinara is obvious choice for free-to-play players uh, if not uh, well uh, Fragar uh, can be good but you need to have Syndrion if you uh, want to invest your tokens to Fragar that's why uh, this hero pair is must to have like if you don't have Syndrion you don't need to care about Fragar uh, if you don't have Fragar you need, don't need to care about Syndrion that's that's why uh, whenever I spoke about pay to win players, I mentioned Syndrion straight up. So like uh, for free to play players, the, the choice is really obvious. You have like uh, three choices, Nigo, Ginara and Fragar. And my advice would be to go for Ginara because I think from these three ones, uh, Ginara is the best choice currently. Uh, one last Legion type which is left in the game currently is flying units and for free to play or pay to win players it's pretty easy to understand which legendary hero is must to have if you enjoy uh, playing call of dragons as a flying uh, type of player it's a thea right thea can be used in almost every single hero pairs especially if you like to play as a flying units right if you are spring wardens you like thea because thea can be used with forondil uh, if you are uh, wilderberg thea can be used with craig with wyverns 
if you are League of Order, Thea will be used uh, with the Atheus, with Celestials, right? Of course, uh, with the Bertrand, Thea can be great. Like any flying hero which we have in the game, uh, Thea will be really, really useful. So, doesn't really matter if you are a pay to win player or a free to play player. In terms of flyers, you have one and obvious choice. Uh, you should be investing all of your tokens and money if you are a pay to win player to uh, awaken Thea as fast as possible possible because you will be using her in almost every single aspect of this game uh, this is the best investment uh, heroes which i think we have currently in the game for season t1 of course um, we are having more and more legendary or in general heroes added to the game which will make this investment guides uh, changeable after almost every single season so like this season i have not done a single one and i think now, this one is important to know because for a free to play players if you are going to spread your legendary tokens you won't gonna have at least one legendary hero awakened and for pay to win players it's important to understand where you where bill will be the most valuable for you to spend your money if you are going to spend your money in general in this game uh, that's all i wanted to speak in this video i hope the video will be video was informative and helpful for you if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make videos for this amazing game um, that's all thanks for watching i hope you are having amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck